We have another guest in the studio today. Rayford Etherton, the founder of Helios Alliance, is here to talk about the partnership with the Porch Band of Creek Indians to address Alabama's opioid crisis. This is a story we reported right. on uh, with that big partnership. Uh, before we get into that, I do want people to know more about Helios. Yeah, well, first, thanks for having us today. Mm -hmm. uh, the Helios Alliance is a nonprofit that we formed about six or eight months ago mm -hmm. uh, of like-minded individuals and organizations mm -hmm. uh, centered in Mobile and nationally to use the best technology available to address the uh, impact of the opioid epidemic. Yeah. Talk about that impact. I mean, we see it every day yeah. in reporting it, but what does it mean to you? Well, I think all of us have been uh, affected in, in some way personally mm -hmm. uh, by people who have been, uh, who, who didn't make it through the opioid epidemic. And we felt like there's a real need here. Uh, it, the situation in Mobile is actually much worse today than it has ever been. Mm. Uh, we have new drugs that come in. Fentanyl has mm. become uh, a very active uh, player in the in the, the field here now, and we were trying to come up with a different way to address the impacts. Mm -hmm. And you said that there is a, a true partnership with private and the public. Can yes. you talk about how that, how that happened? Yeah, uh, it was really just kind of a brainstorming session that we had uh, in Mobile back in June where we brought in national leaders mm -hmm. uh, to talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, and Mayor Stimson was one of our uh, first advocates for addressing this in an outside the box way. Uh, we reached out, uh, first to the Porch Creek Indians, Robbie McGee, mm -hmm. who has been a supporter of this type of approach um, in other parts of the country. Mm -hmm. And we asked them if they would be the anchor sponsor on a statewide program, yeah. and they agreed to do so. And we've gotten wonderful support uh, from a lot of people in Mobile, from the Drug Education Council, Virginia mm -hmm. Guy, mm -hmm. Lori Miles at the Sheriff's Department, yeah. other people within the city. And it's really about understanding the why behind the epidemic so that those abatement funds are used properly, right? That's exactly right. Okay. <laughs> that's exactly right. Yes. Uh, and, that's what, and that's what our technology does. Mm -hmm. uh, we use simulation modeling to build a platform mm -hmm. that explains the causes of the opioid epidemic, mm -hmm. how and why it happened, how it unfolded over time, yeah. to understand why. And then once you understand why, you can use the same technology to predict likely impacts mm. of programs, policies, interventions, combinations, before you have to spend money. Right. So we have limited resources that are gonna be available. Mm -hmm. So this way we can use uh, simulation modeling uh, enhanced by artificial intelligence to help us know mm -hmm. what is really, what's gonna be a winner, mm -hmm. and uh, just as importantly, what's gonna be a loser. We're almost out of time. I wish we had more um, minutes, hours to talk <laughs> about this. What, one more thing, what do you wanna add? Well, th to thank the community for supporting the idea, mm -hmm. because we really do believe it's going to take an organic grassroots type of effort yeah. To make a, to affect change that matters over the next couple of decades. Wow! Well, thank you so much yeah, for stopping you. by.